Welcome Aries to my channel, Rainbow Wizard. I'll be doing a reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Uh, this is for the end of April, beginning of um, May. Happy birthday to all of you, Aries, uh, that have birthday today and uh, that had your birthday as well. Uh, I hope you're doing amazing and I truly hope you had a wonderful, wonderful birthday celebration during your season. I believe that in the next few days we are moving into, uh, well, Taurus. I think it's the 21st or 22nd, right? Okay, so I'm going to give an extra shuffle. Thank you for being here. Please like, subscribe, uh, share the video, leave a comment. Always appreciate hearing from you, Aries. What is in store for you at this time? We shall see. Usually the reading should cover one or two weeks, but you apply it to how it resonates for you. So, the justice. The justice is a card of, uh, well, things are being fairly handled. You can trust that things are fair. It's going to be on your side as well. There has been a cause and a consequence. Um, a person that is showing up in your reading could be someone that is like slow. They are loyal, but slow. Two steps forward, one step back. Could be an immature love situation as well, Aries. This could be someone that is uh, going through a stressful time. Um, this stressful time is because they have a small mind uh, or narrow mind when it comes to uh, approach, uh, comes to approaching you. This could be a reading for those of you that are dealing with another Aries. This could be for those of you that are dealing with uh, a Pisces, possibly also an air sign energy, maybe Aquarius is coming up and Sagittarius and Libra. Ah, so this energy here is a, uh, it's like, um, now I always say this, uh, this energy that come up here, that is the collective kind of energy that come up. This could be a person, yes, uh, past. <laughs> this could be a current person, but it can also be other energies. So you apply it to how it resonates. So I'm going to look into this person because something is giving them a sleepless night. This person is stressed. Um, this can be uh, due to something going wrong in their own family. It doesn't have to be a third party. It can be a family situation. It's a difficult situation they're in. And they're very stressed and tired. Um, this, there could be some drama that's causing them stress and, and, and a depletion. And therefore, they are not able to focus on themselves. That could be as well. Uh, and they're not able to move forward, but they feel loyal to the journey. And there is that, oh, now they just want to leave everything behind. So again, this could be a soulmate connection, Aries, um, that is showing up in your reading. Okay, spirits, please sh show me <laughs> uh, messages that I should share with Aries about the person that are showing up in their reading today. What's happening in their current environment what are their feelings and intentions towards Aries yeah this person could definitely be is gaining confidence and expanding on their life foresight momentum looking ahead facing their fears as well uh, strong fire uh, elements here this person is going towards their wish fulfillment now they've there this could be someone that had to heal a um, personal relationship this person have to someone has to look at a situation with a new light new life basically wow very heavy very very um stagnant the uh, type of energy if this person don't choose to heal they will stay stuck but they can heal, but they have to open their mind. If they stay sort of with a narrow mindset, not looking outside of that, the four walls, you know, not, not, not giving at all, just waiting to receive, that's not going to happen. If they just give a little, that's not enough. So someone is showing up in your reading. It's that, you know, they want this wish fulfillment and action and col collaboration. That's good. That's where they're heading to. But what's slowing them down is that something to do with healing and perhaps also surrounding themselves with people that are not helping them progress on their journey. So they're very slow. They, they, this could be someone very, very stubborn. They want to do things their way <clears throat> or the highway and their way is not really a productive way. Now, Aries, you are... I also seen 12-12. So it's, 
it tells me that you might have two people around you. You have two parts, Aries for many of you, and, and these two parts here, you have you are in control of the path that you are choosing. Maybe you don't feel like you have, but you do. It's nudging you to take action that is in alignment with your highest truth here. For this reason, like your angel is messaging you about having faith and courage and step into unfamiliar places. So many of you, you have a more, more fortune and a new experience and love in a new environment. So it is... Um, something about following your soul. Your soul knows what it wants all the time. And um, it's also showing you go towards people that will encourage you to be a better version of you. That's really important, um, it says here. And it looks like that's what you're doing. You, oh great, so <laughs> I lost like a lot of cards, but anyway, I'll deal with that later. So, you, for many of you areas, you, you could be saying, right, okay, enough of this thinking or enough of this place, enough of these people. Why am I here? Why, why am I, you know, it's, it's kind of you're seeing the truth as well. Uh, your intentions is to get out of the struggle, uh, get out of someone burdening you with their drama that is not for you to take in. You don't need it. You can choose another way. You, the outcome here will be healing. It will be uh, a, a balanced, a new life ahead of you if you choose it. You can choose it, but you don't, you know, you might not. So you are all on a different path here. So Aries, yeah. Maybe for the longest time, you've been waiting for something to improve in your relationships or a, an environment, but it did not. Maybe you are looking for um, to expand, to especially in your career and finances. Maybe you are trying to collaborate with people that are very difficult to collaborate with. And you maybe have sort of given someone too much of your time. And even if you don't know that it doesn't work, you are still there. You are still, you are still dealing with an energy that's pulling you down rather than up, and that's what's being clarified here. For many of you, you are also turning away from someone. You could be turning away from a, a fire sign. Uh, maybe uh, uh, there could be Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. I'm getting here. Um, so on your side, so. Many of you have reversed a journey that you should have gone on that you didn't. And um, many of you could have been caught up in someone's energy that really did not. Uh, it's, it's someone that could show up as an emperor and in other areas. But this person here, I just see that this person didn't really um, help you. There's just someone here that you see that, okay, I should have jumped off. I should have jumped off this uh, this journey, and and uh, and there's not, it's uh, sorry, it's never too late to take another road. Okay, someone that caused more of a disturbance or talk no action. Um, you know, they are good looking, they are very fiery, they are you know, this passion. But you are like actually, this this person, me being this person with this person is not really getting me anywhere, and you are now it's also like your inner feelings and maybe yourself you let go of some self love, love for codependency and insecurity based on not being with the right person or maybe being in a, an environment as well a new venture based on someone could have air in their chart is going to show up on your path this is going to be exciting and you are going to see okay i now see that i'm taking back control over my life why did I really stay in this place? I don't have to stay in this place. Who says that I have to be in this place? That's like in a restricted way of thinking. Maybe you have picked up a restricted way of thinking from someone else. It's like this almost almost mirroring, but not wanting to mirror someone I'm picking up. But you are just changing that around. I think Aries is one of these signs that can quickly change as well because of your fire and your ambition. And you are able to say, okay, enough of this. And I'm starting a new beginning. So you're gaining this purpose and healing, Aries, for many of you, realizing that uh, if, if something isn't for me, accept it and move on and, and, and take another route. Maybe you were well on your way on a journey with, with a, a situation. Might it be a, a 
a relationship or with a business or so, but it's never too late to change. Everything is just relative. Nothing bad has to stay bad for a for ages. That's just a narrow thinking. It's just everything is can change at any time. You have the power to do so. And I see that you're getting a little help with to do so because there is a person that's showing up on your path. I feel this is an outside energy that isn't them. So anyone that's been holding you back based on their thinking, or again, for some of you, this is energy is coming up by someone that wants to collaborate with you in business as well, but it's not really a lucrative venture. I feel someone with earth in their chart have been slowing you down. Maybe Sagittarius in your chart have been slowing you down. Um, Aries. Yeah, someone have been slowing you down a lot and you are like, no, this Sagittarius or uh, yeah, it's someone with Earth and their chart, Leo, they just really slow you down. And you are sort of saying that's enough of that. I see Aries that um, there is a, the chapter closes, you are moving into collaboration with someone else. You are ending. Uh, there could be a Scorpio moving out of your life, perhaps as well, Aries. Um, this is you leaving uncertainty, taking back your power, taking back control over your life, saying that, okay, this path isn't for me. Why am I still here? Uh, someone with air and uh, fire is still in, in your chart, but I feel it's more you taking control of your new path. And there is a person that is giving you this and that, that's a more of a new feeling with someone that is like you are, someone's teaching you something or you are noticing you have a different type and you are this person has a different lang love language but there is express uh, expressing love to you and uh, i see there is a mutual attraction so that's going to come up in the near future for you aries it's like uh, for those of you that have been with someone it's not going anywhere it's stagnant and so on for many of you you are jumping off and and you are exploring a new connection for sure uh, and, and you are trying your, it's, it's, you are saying, you know, every, every sign that I'm receiving and, and that's, you know, with the 12, 12, I just seen it saying, you must change the course. If you don't change course, you will experience more of the same. See, change direction, stay on that new direction. Uh, something about you having to go outside, thinking outside the box for the four of pentacles, because it's not fruitful. If you follow a new path, that path is for you. You will see with the judgment that you should have gone on that path a long time ago and all that bickering and stress around you, it caused you just confusion. Okay. There is a spiritual connection on your path. You are going to receive a message very soon here. Someone is trying to, yes, to hold you back and so on, but it's going to be illuminated to you that you in fact have now changed your journey. You said, screw that journey that I was on. Yeah, maybe I promised it. Maybe I said, yes, da, 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 da. I'm going to change it. Like I'm going to change direction. I can do that. You are going to say that I, I don't really care about me making plans, even booking a ticket. Um, I'm changing it. Just cancel. Am I shock some people? You might shock a few people. Aries in the near future, at least this area group of Aries that I'm seeing here. Uh, the year of the rooster could be significant. Now, intuition, yeah, follow your intuition. It's, um, you have um, learning to trust this intuition. Um, it's like you are starting to perceive people and situation with a deeper and more discerning eye. Uh, you are observing what's beneath and beyond what is actually in front of you. You are going to see the real deal by doing that, uh, Aries. There is a spiritual union coming uh, into your life and um, it's a perfect timing to realize that more, all the relationships that you attract, they really are all about you. So if you attract a certain person with a certain traits you don't want, it can also have to do about you in some ways and where you are, but it's about you looking deeper. Now, also realizing the relationship, yeah, it's a mirror of your own life at times. That's why if you have changed your journey where your soul is growing and healing, that person that you might have chosen that seemed to be mirroring you at the time, it's you're jumping off, okay? Passion ignited. This could be a person from the past as well. You are also being more enthusiastic uh, and positive and renewing a spiritual strength. And... Um, you might actually have this because of your new journey, uh, Aries, it's you're going to have a new spark and you might have thought, oh, I can't find that spark or, you know, it's 
you know, I want to have that spark, but you're going to feel it. Cause, so I see that you are showing up in your own reading areas as someone that's driving the, you know, the driving seat. You are saying, okay, I've sacrificed enough time. I, will, I said I wasn't going to be on this journey, but really, no. So, so you are saying, no, you could reject someone, uh, whether it's female, male, that is Scorpio, is saying, no, I'm changing your journey. Goodbye. That's, that, this is the place I'm going. So again, there could be a few sort of like, reactions around you Aries about that decision that you will make but um yeah it's um you, it's your decision and you are making it you don't care really about um you know what other people think here and I think maybe that's what you're letting go of Aries caring what other people think about anything uh, you know so just taking the reins so can I get some messages for Aries and the world In the world this uh yeah this reading is um quite different than the other readings i've done earlier today it's very much of um it might be you struggling to see the truth or afraid to see the truth maybe you've been lying to yourself uh about your path aries so because we have here the Knight of Swords is a quick messenger coming in. It can also cause chaos with this this uh, words, but here there will be a um, it's something that will be revealed about someone strategically strategically hiding their feelings for you, but you will know about their feelings. This person will not be able to hide their feelings. I feel this person is a air sign. It's like that the feelings will be revealed. Their passion, their feelings will be revealed. That's this. This is someone that uh, yeah, it does remind me of an air sign. You know how air signs are. Well, I am one. Uh, you think that oh well, I will definitely know. I keep my tongue in check, or I do know like you know what I should or shouldn't say. But this is is like an example of a true air sign. You know, they can think or feel uh, or think what they are going to feel in the situation or going to say, but they are going to do. They're going to blurt something out, and in this way. The truth will come out, but something about hiding, <laughs> hiding their feelings will come to the surface. Yeah, so so uh, everything is out in the open. Something about hiding, seven of swords seven of swords ah you will find out about a it could be a libra aries okay i did see this in uh what's it aquarius reading so there's a something about someone not showing their feelings before it's too late uh a person <clears throat> denying uh, like that they have <coughs> sorry felt any kind of sorrow so because because they're denying their sorrows but they still want to be in control you could see someone that is doing something as well that is like wow like they're putting themselves in a bad place it is possible based on seeing you move forward with someone or even disconnecting with them. I need to get some more cards. Um, something is underneath the surface about perhaps you have stayed on a journey because you don't want someone's reaction as well, but you know that you will get someone's reaction when you change the journey and, and hear this reaction come. So it can be a little bit uncomfortable. So Aries, okay, I found another deck. So it's a, a very, um, this is very much about connecting to the light before you take this journey but you know when you connect to the light of your soul's purpose there will be some kind of reaction and uh, then it has to be with you staying calm on your path because someone is about to sort of try to show some kind of 
you know, force in a way. I don't see the devil here, which is good, right? That is always good. <laughs> so it's about someone that could be sort of more forceful, but with a narrow mind at the same time. It's like, this is what should happen, but you know, it's not something that can be forced as well. Some of you might be dealing with a father figure as well. I, I don't know, it's just coming up here. Yeah, another confirmation area. So we have the emperor, okay? The emperor is someone in control, you have the ideas for a business, you can go it alone as well, you can be an entrepreneur. But you see here, that could be you, that this, so there is another energy here, it's like, is someone trying to mask that they are an, an emperor, but they are not really because they have to, they, they have to go through the ranks to heal as well. If you're dealing with another Aries or Sagittarius, perhaps it's possible, um, there is someone, you know, this person could have, uh, maybe they are born on the cusp uh, of Sagittarius and Scorpio. So I know that's very specific, but you see here, uh, so regardless here, there is a person in your life and this could, yeah, if that is going to make you feel that you have made the right choice and the messages will come through quite quickly. So for many of you Aries, you are choosing to take another path before it's too late Again, it's never too late, but in this situation here, you could miss out on a golden opportunity. So it's saying, yeah, don't make a decision based not on, on haste and feel pushed, but take the decision based on feeling calm and listening to that sort of inner guide, guidance, the harmony. If you are usually someone, you know, that thrives harmony, you know, who doesn't, but, you know, it's something about you remember, you know, what, where are you at your best? So... Um, this person here is trying certainly to connect with you. They, there is some, there's competition for you. There is you. It's almost like uh, Aries that you are saying, look, um, okay, well, yeah, see, sorry, I'm leaving. And then someone could be like in denial that you're leaving. And then when, when you are leaving, they are like trying to stop you, but you have already decided to go for the light. You are deciding to go for the sun, the celebration, but you are here deciding Aries to uh, someone, someone will be hurt. Someone will per perhaps tell, tell you uh, the truth, like of their hurt, right? This is someone that there is a person in your life that does not want you to leave. Uh, maybe you also kept this person, this could be a Scorpio for many of you, kept this person in your life because, you know, it's like you don't really want to hurt someone. It's possible there is something about that here, something to do with the Scorpio that someone have to let go because this Scorpio could, if, if they need some kind of help, or that this person is sort of holding on to either you or another person that is meant to be for you, but this person is kind of holding on for their life and preventing, uh, causing stagnation, even based on, you know, trying different tactics to keep someone. So it's, this is, this is about like really ripping off the band-aid, okay? interested in you, blooming romance, flirting and want to date, self-worth and value, grounding is very important, the dragonfly, the phoenix, yeah, I mean for many of you Aries, you know that there is another journey, another road, now it doesn't mean that this road will necessarily be supported from others and, and it doesn't even mean that it's going to feel so you know, great every single day because there will be some restriction or like, like not restriction, what I was going to say, someone will come to the surface and they will want to fight for you because they say, well, what me and you have is, you know, rock solid here. What are you doing? You will not get mental support or be cheered on, but you have already been made aware you are aware of the situation you are aware now you're accepting this new journey and you're saying yeah i've turned around okay yeah maybe you know it, it could be for many of you a journey you decided and is it like a bit it's like your bags are packed to go on that journey and then you're like i can't do it is a bit like even leaving a someone at the wedding at the altar is that type of you know that's a you know at there and then it seemed like you know, uh, people around you would be saying that you can't do that. You can't do that. That's not what we do, right? But you're doing it. You are doing it. You are doing 
you are, you are whatever you are deciding, you're deciding it for you. You know that regardless of anyone's reaction, it's your decision. You are doing it, so therefore it is good for you. Again, uh, it doesn't mean that even that oh, this journey will be full of. Um, you know, only roses and, and rainbows. It just has to be about the release and the relief that you feel from her made a decision that is definitely on the, on the route and journey that you want to be on Aries. That's going to be a relief for you. So that feeling will stay with you as a good decision. And you are going to tell someone, no, the justice is on you. You are going to say, sorry, I know, like, this could even be anyone for saying they have a family with someone too. Sorry, yeah, I know we have a family, but I'm leaving. This could be two people pursuing, actually, a twin flame connection as well. Uh, together. It's uh, it's not going to be supported. It's, it's not something, it's like, oh, shit, I have, you know, I thought I had inner resources now, and now I have to struggle on my own. I feel overwhelmed. I feel on the edge. I feel fatigued and lack of motivation as well. You could feel pessimism. You could feel really, like, like this is like a journey you decide that you will not be supported on right away, right away from your surroundings. But that's what you've been dreading all along. But as soon as you've said, all right, I'm off, you will feel more of a relief uh, than anything else. And you will explore this spiritual connection that you are meant to be with. This connection is two people really coming together. But it requires two people to choose like the light uh, with the 12 12 um it's kind of a very magnificent a number it is a uh, awakening to the divine love within you as well and activating a much higher energy or frequency to help you to evolve in the new it's like it's pushing you to be better and dream bigger it is um it, it is like you stepping out of your comfort zone this this requires to step out of your comfort zone and start a new life. It's like push yourself towards something different because you feel you're not in the place where you want to be on your journey. You know what's best for you. Other people don't. It's nudging you to take action and it's going to be in alignment with your highest truth. So have faith and courage when you step into unfamiliar places as well. As this path is unfolding, you're going to realize and see that, that what's being revealed to you now, Aries, is far more great than anything you've ever imagined. So really trust that you are divinely safe. And that's, yeah, the message here. So uh, Aries, uh, please like, subscribe, uh, share the video, uh, leave a comment and uh, have a beautiful weekend.